what's cracking guys welcome to the fidelio fidelio fellatio incident I, i'm not quite sure how you pronounce it so choose which one you want <laughs> uh so this is a first person thriller it's set it's set in iceland i believe and based like lo i think it's loosely based off of um a beethoven song so i'm not exactly too sure because i've never actually heard the song so I have no idea what, what it's supposed to be. Um, apparently you have a crash, uh, and then you have to go around and find things. I know this isn't the best introduction. Uh, let's... I'll give you the, I'll give you the blurb from what Steam says. The Fidelio Fidelio incident is a single-player first-person thriller set off the coast of Iceland. Inspired by Beethoven's only open Fidelio, Helio. After a violent plane crash, Stanley must search a desolate frozen island in search of his wife, Leonor, while covering up any traces of their identity. Um, it sounds okay. I mean, it's, it's, it's from the art director of God of War 3. God of War 3. I love that game. You know what? I, I, I must do God of War at some point. I was kind of thinking about it ages ago, but I thought, mm, I'm not sure how well it would be received. Um, so yeah, but I mean, it's, it's got its inspirations from... You know, the usual Dear Esther, Gone Home, Firewatch, which I absolutely love. I loved Firewatch. Uh, but yeah, so that's... You play as uh, Stanley. That's... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure. I, the reviews seem okay. Reviews are actually alright. They're, they're not bad. But I don't know how well it plays. It's it's running on... Um, Unigen? I think it's Unigen it's running on. So it will look very pretty, but it may play like crap. Who knows? <laughs> Alright, anyway. I've not tested it, so I don't know how well it works. We'll just have to wait and see. Oh, we go like straight into it. Okay. Oh. Can we look around? Oh, we can as well. Jesus. Oh, that's just a little turbulent. Why are you so nervous, love? I, I don't know. I didn't sleep well last night. Oh, it, it's been a while since you... It's nothing. I'll be fine. Just make sure that cargo's secure. Everything looks fine back here. Things are shifting a little, but... Damn it! All right, that was quite a belt. Let's uh, get our minds on something else. You ever still think about Ireland? Ah, it's 30 years since I've been there, Leonor. I don't remember anything. <laughs> don't be daft. Uh, tell me a story about uh, when you were a little boy. All right. Did I ever tell you about the time I stole a box of sweets? <laughs> no, you haven't. Uh, I was maybe seven or eight. I was at the corner store with me dad. He gave me enough money for one box. But I thought it wouldn't be grand to get the box for him instead. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Well, I'm not so sure. I think I'd done something at the time and was trying to make up for it. But as much as I wanted to give him the sweets, I still wanted some, you know? So I bought the one and pocketed the other. Oh, no. And just as soon as I paid a man, I turned around and saw me die. <gasps> just staring at me. Oh, no. Did he know what you'd done? Or did you get away with it? Well, that's the thing. He... Oh, shit! Oh, my God! Oh, shit. First strike. Put your seatbelt on. The left engine's on fire. No, 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 no. Oh, Christ, this isn't good. Stanley, what's happening? We're going down, love, okay? I need you to hold on. Get in the brace position. Shit. No. Shit. Leonor. Stanley. I think that went well, do you? We're from Ireland! Yay! Voices sound a little low. I'll have to uh, work if I can fix that. Thing. Yes. Nano. It's fucked. Where? Plane is DPD, but are knackered. 
That's what you're playing as. Stevie Dee Bedour knackered. The plane must not be too far. This is off of it, I think. Stanley's trying to be brave, but I can say he's still in pain. I was able to secure flawless passports and a boat for the captain who doesn't ask questions. There are so many inlets on the western coast. We'll make landfall in complete secrecy. The entire world is open to us. The entire world except for Ireland, but I won't miss it for a second. We have a new life now. Together. There is voice acting. Thank the gods there is voice acting. Because I do not want to be reading this all. Okay, uh, let me go to audio a second. Music, ambient, dialogue. Yeah, dialogue is all the way up. Hmm. Let's see, okay, how do I get out of this? Press escape or start button to open the pause menu. Well, I'm using a uh, mouse and keyboard, so... I don't have a start button. I only have the escape button. Yes, I will be talking Irish for a few times. So I'm sorry for any Irish people out there. <laughs> I do apologise. Okay, this is Unigen, so it looks to be working so far. I did get my uh, friends, uh, my counter working up on the top left, but it's disappeared. And I can't remember how to get it back again. Is it Alt F10? No, Alt F11? Wait, no, Alt F11 has just gone into... <laughs> Um, hold on. Why? What the? Fuck? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Maybe it's not all F11. That did something weird. I hope we're still recording. Alright, so we're in Iceland. Very nice. I wonder if we'll uh, meet up with... Oh, jeez, what was the name? <sighs> I can't remember, from uh, Through the Woods. Leonor! Where are you, love? Sorry to stay, Stanley. You may be dead. Up, Up there. My plane. <laughs> Fuck! Holy shit! Jesus Christ! Oh. That nearly decapitated us. Is there a phone going off? Is that just me? There is no run. Ooh. Oh god. No. Leonor! Well, the other half of the plane must be down there then. Hello? Leonor? Stanley. Leonor, yes, it's, it's Stanley. Stanley. Are you there? I, I can hear you, love. It's, uh, I'm here. Shh. Christ, I hope you can hear me. Fucking mobile's broke. She can't hear me. I'm still in the plane. Or okay. part of the plane. My leg gets trapped. Oh, Christ. I can't move. Stanley, I don't know where I am. But I can't see you, but there's smoke. There's black smoke. I've seen... L L Lena. Black smoke. She's still alive. Pull it together, Stanley. Do what needs to be done. Well, there's black smoke over there. I'm pressing shift, but shift isn't working for run. My guess is that shift isn't run. Oh, Press stay. and hold. Oh, this is good. Now you tell me I can run. Got to stay warm. What about jumping? No. Base doesn't use. Base isn't for jump. You're in Iceland. Of course it's going to be cold, mate. It's not going to be warm, is it? Kaka, motherfucker! Kaka! That bit. I think there was a bit over this way. One part of the plane. I don't what think is it's this? here. I was afraid of this. I knew from the moment I saw Stanley clutching that tiny body in his arms that the nightmares would come back. They're worse than ever. I can feel Stanley's heart breaking with every shudder and breath. I heard him say, don't go. 
Is he talking to me? I'll never leave him. Fine body. Dead kid, maybe? Has he accidentally murdered someone? <laughs> Over this way. More part of the wreckage. Uh, nothing we need, though. There's another bit over there. Around here, or... Uh, oh, this goes more... There is a black smoke. Need to find a way to that peak. Oh, she's up there. Oh, okay. I see. Does this give off heat? Yes, it does, because it's a geezer. Or a geyser. Geyser, geyser, whichever way you want to pronounce it. Oh, God. Shelter. Why is there a random shelter on an island? It, it never bodes well. Ooh. Oh, thank God this torch still works. Thank God, indeed. Can open these boxes? Do anything with them? No. What the hell? A jellyfish? Shit! These little fuckers can really sting! <laughs> that would be, yes! They are indeed jellyfish. Okay. Do we... Can we get in here at all? I don't think so, can we? Oh, it's locked! Shit! Ah, feck, it's locked, stock jammed. Right. We need to... I made that joke way too many times, and I apologize. Pulling Ben. Whatever. If it wasn't for him playing a certain game, which I can't, I can't remember that it, I know I know I make that joke a lot. It's it's from a certain game. And I can't remember what it is now. Uh, but Ben or Halloween 4545 played it years ago. And whenever you go to a a, <clears throat> a door that won't open, the, the the character will narrate, you know, say you see the lock stuck or jammed. But he does it in Irish accent as well. So he says lock stock jammed. This, stick with this. I don't know how long I can be out in the cold before something happens. Okay. Uh, do we really want to be in here? I'm not sure. The what else is around first? There was another burning bit over here. If there's anything of use. Might be more exposition or is it just... Oh, yeah, there we go. The manifest. We should have landed hours ago. They'll have to know we're missing. Send out a search party. Please, God. Da -da -da -da. Royal Post NL Amsterdam International Mail Center, European Postal Corporation, date departure, time, airport offloading, airport, airport, boxes sealed, cold packed, possibly food, oh, there's another burning bit over here, alright we'll check this one last bit and then we'll head into the cave, maybe Spooky, speepy things. Spoopy, I mean. Not speepy. What speepy is. Is it useful? Oh, ah. So many islands. Even I'm not sure which one we're on. I wouldn't worry about not being known. Oh, sorry. Gas. Ooh. I'm not sure the worry is not being known where you are, but how the hell to pronounce these? No door, Ireland? Irishist, Edor, Elvik, Lejoring, Blem, Blemishish, Kotokorn, Duda, I have no idea. Jatting. Uh, sorry if I'm butchering your uh, the names, but I don't speak Norwegian. All right, so we can't get over there because jellyfish. I don't particularly want to get stung anymore, so we'll uh, we'll ignore the jellyfish. Head ourselves into the caves. Make our way into the caves, I should say. Right. 
Get off the bloody terrain. Harry. What the? Why is there a... Hello? A random wall. I mean, do we really want to be heading this into... This icy stone closes in around me. I'm overwhelmed by a fear that the last 30 years together was only a dream. That I'm still trapped. Still locked away in the dark. What, what do you As mean? I cross this godforsaken island to find you. Every agonizing step reminds me that the dream is over. But the pain reminds me that I'm still alive. And as long as I live, there is hope. Leonor, I will find you. I will find you. Why are there random pipes here? That's... Good. I can't seem to get past them even through here. That'll be the way we need to go. What's, what's, I wonder what he's on about. Is that he's still trapped in a dream? I must say, this is very pretty. But I would not like to be in the position that Stanley's in. I mean, he's gone from an office to now being in Iceland. Hi. Why would there need to be a camera down here? Weird. Very creepy. Ooh, birdie. Okay, that's nice. Stunning. It's like a cathedral. Yes, if you happen to like cathedrals. Do I just head down? I guess I do. Alright, this seems like it's running about 15 frames a second right now. Which is not great. Uh, uh, this way. Don't fall on me, don't fall on me. Go for that. Bits and bats, I'm supposed to be... Well, game, you okay? Alright, I may need to drop down the effects. Put it onto high. Still looks good. I don't, I don't want to lose too much quality. <clears throat> Looks like a way out. But I can't climb this ice. Oh, we're gonna need um pick. To get out. Very pretty game. It's just it's Thank you, my graphics. Ah, oh, hello. Oh, oh. You poor bastard. You are a poor bastard indeed. Frozen in the ice. <laughs> At least I won't stay trapped in this cave. You dumb fecker. Alright, time to climb out. I wonder if this is using both of my GPUs or just one of my GPUs. Go on, Stanley. And again. There we go. And again. I'll keep climbing. 
Yay, we're out. Sweet. Woo. Very nice place. The black smoke. I'm getting closer. Yeah, except for... I seem to be going away from her at the moment. Oh, Leonor. Stanley, I can see the lockbox. It's empty. The crash it must have broke open. All the case files, all the information. My diary. You have to find him. You have to find everything. If anyone comes, Stanley. If anyone comes. They can't find out who we are. Bollocks. All this time, we've been so careful. Why? Who... <clears throat> who are you, exactly? Oh, okay, there seems to be a fire here, but there's not a fire. What? <laughs> hmm. Very strange. Are you murderers? Thieves? Scoundrels? Oh, what now? My god. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. Alright. We need to get out very quickly. Very quickly. Come on, Stanley, hurry up. We do not want to be dying in these waters. Oh, we need to get warm. Ooh, earthquakes! Help. This fucking island is trying to kill me. You're trying to kill us both, Stanley. Make sure that we're not walking into water. Another bunker. Another one. Warning, stage one, shivering frostbite. Stage two, confusion, hallucination. Stage three, feeling of burning alive. Stage four, death, hypothermia. Another note. I can't stop thinking about the dream. We were flying in the plane, but I wasn't afraid. I was giddy with excitement because we were flying back to Ireland. Stanley dove the plane so fast I could feel my stomach floating and we were laughing like we haven't laughed in ages. As we dipped out of the clouds and swooped in over the ocean, I could see the white cliffs and green hills. Stone walls and hedges divided the patchwork fields dotted with livestock. And our tray welcoming us home. Then I woke up in this hot, filthy room, dripping with sweat. Stanley's still sleeping. No nightmares, thank God. Maybe it's my turn. What? Stanley, use my diary to unlock your path. Okay, this is getting rather odd. Shit. I'll never break through that ice. Pack marked area. Left boosting gate new. Whatever that says. Damn clue. Warmer then. Over this way. Something fishy is going off with these two. I'm not quite sure what. They don't want people to find them. They don't want people to find the uh, the case files. For them to know who they are. But they must have done something pretty bad. Either they're murderers or they're escapees from something. Sure. Right, so we've got to find her diary pieces. Be able to move on. Another page from her journal. Mother's crying in the next room. She says it's because she's happy, but I don't believe her. My father is getting out of prison. My friends protest the unlawful imprisonments, but I wish they'd kept Michael O'Shea locked up forever. Life in prison isn't long enough for him. 
It would kill my mother if she ever read this. What if Michael ever read it? Would it kill him? Or would he kill me? Well, the violence didn't stop when he was on the inside. But at least when I read about something terrible in the paper, I knew my father wasn't the cause. But now... God help us all. Damn. Sounds like something bad happened. Okay, uh... Stanley, these... Yes, it... Save you. 3128. Ooh, that must be the code for the door. Okay, which means we need to find a way back. We... Ah, oh, shit, 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 shit. Can I climb onto these? Ooh, keep going, Stanley. Keep going. Good boy. Another note. Stanley took me to this lovely old tree on the cliffs overlooking the sea. It was just the perfect spot. Then I saw there were notches carved into the trunk. I pointed them out to him and asked him how many other girls had he brought here. Stanley laughed and said when he was just a lad, he and his dad would come to the same spot for picnics. And Paddy would notch the tree to show how much Stanley had grown. I turned as red as a beetroot and muttered some kind of apology. When we sat down to eat lunch, I saw another notch at the base of the tree. When I asked him what that one was for, he winked and said, Margaret Keane. And who is Margaret Keane? Yeah. All right, we need to get somewhere warm pretty quickly. Uh, ooh, don't break up on me now! Don't break up on me now! Don't break up on me now! Steam vent here. Ooh. Run to the next one. Quickly before the ice breaks up. No! 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 no. Ooh. The summers in Munich are beautiful. The palazzas are full of tourists, so Stanley and I blend right in. But even in the sea of anonymous faces, we have to be careful. Today, I was sitting in the park with my lunch when this young man with a big fancy camera came up to me. He was handsome and stylish, a real artsy type, and he asked if he could take some photos of me. Obviously, I had to say no. But then he said something that caught me off guard. He said that my eyes were the saddest he'd ever seen. Of course they are, I said. I'm Irish. I left everything on the bench and disappeared into the crowd. Mm, they're trying to hide. Ten days since Stanley's last nightmares. The prayers are working. What are these nightmares are all about? Is it making him go crazy? Right, maybe if we slow walk. Oh, oh. La 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 la. Right, like okay. <laughs> it. Right. We need to get back to the door. Quickly, somehow. Let's keep going, Stanley. I know, I know, I know. There's a fire here. Ooh, there we go. All right. One last one and then we'll end the episode. Mother begged me not to go, but I assured her it was a peaceful rally. Molly wouldn't go with me. She was afraid the army would show up. So I dragged Stanley with me. I thought for sure he'd want to be there because his father was one of the speakers. Paddy Whitaker was an electrifying presence. People were cheering and clapping as he spoke about the end to the violence. A peaceful end to the troubles. He spoke with such conviction, I nearly wept. But when I looked over at Stanley, he was wearing fucking headphones and messing with his cassette player. He said he'd heard it all before. I couldn't believe it. He has no idea how lucky he is. There will never be, uh, I mean, especially in Northern Ireland, there will never be peace. And, and, uh, yeah. Never. Through the day that there is ever peace in Ireland, but unfortunately there never will be. Uh, okay, so that gave us as well 1280. For once, Stanley listened to me. 
just these five numbers. Oh, unless that's four, three, one, two, eight, one, two, eight, oh. Okay, that must be the other half of the numbers then, maybe. I'm not sure. Anyway, guys, unfortunately, that's where I'm going to have to leave it, because we're out of time. Ooh, and the steam vent there, maybe. Uh, this is really good. I'm enjoying this, especially because it has voice acting, which saves my voice so goddamn much. Oh god, that much. Oh, I'm not a fan of the chromatic aber aberration, though. Or uh, I hate that effect. Fucking ugly. But yeah. But it's, it's really good. I mean, there's this mystery, intrigue. What have these both done? And it's nice. Actually, don't what? It's nice as well to be able to hear an Irish accent. You never really get that. Most, like, most narrations and most people, it's mainly just English. You no, know, it's either English or American. And that's it, and that's it. But it's, it's nice to hear an actual different accent in a game for once. So, thank you for that. That's very good. Anyway, guys, thank you all for, very much for watching this episode. I shall see you all next time as ever. Bye-bye.